Hello everyone and welcome back to my efficient design series in Kerbal Space Program 0.24.2. We have upgraded to the extra 0.2 and uh, hopefully that'll fix some things that I did not notice was wrong yet. Uh, but anyway, this is the state of our tech tree and what I'm looking to do today is get some more mileage out of my reusable orbital system which can carry about a ton to orbit and bring it all back down again and uh, hopefully uh, try and get it to the KSC or closer to the KSC this time, get some practice with that. And what we really need is science. Clearly we don't have any science to unlock anything new. And what we haven't done up till now is we haven't done any goo experiments. We haven't done the goo and we haven't done the science juniors either. So let's see if we can bring some of that up. Uh, combined I don't think uh, we're going to pass the one ton limit. So uh, let's go to the VAB and see what we can slap on. Actually, I just wanted to peek in here to see if there was anything new. And yes, there is. Science data from space around Kerbin looks interesting. It's no secret that it was definitely hard for us to tell. Oh, okay, this is just randomly generated text. Uh, transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin. I think we can do that. That's That was our plan to begin with. Um... Test a radial decoupler splash down at Kerbin. No, we're not going to do that this time. And we're not going to try to rescue just yet. So, alright, uh, so we'll do that. That'll be our primary mission, to get science from around Kerbin. That makes me feel a little bit better because actually, uh, without that, we wouldn't have been able to do any contracts on this mission, even though we'd be getting science. So, very convenient to have a science data from space around Kerbin contract. Okay, so here is our... Our orbital vehicle and what we're going to do is replace the capsule which weighs 8.4 uh, 0.84 sorry so that goes away now we gotta have a state putnik obviously because this is going to be probe controlled and because it's probe controlled we will probably will need a reaction wheels because uh, we have been relying on the command pause uh, reaction control power until now so Oh, did they uh, slightly, very slightly reduce the power of this reaction wheel? Also reduced the mass, so I guess it's just a trade-off. Okay, uh, so we've got that. So let me just uh, tally it up. This is 0.12, this is point, uh, so 0.17 so far. Uh, I guess we can get a Science Junior in here. Okay, probably we can do without this parachute. I think it'll be alright. Uh, what, 11% less parachute power? Okay, so this is uh, 0.2, so 0.35, and we should get two goo containers, let's say. Hmm. don't like how these parachutes are slapped on. Okay, that should be well less than the mass of the previous mission. So this should have no trouble getting off the ground. The question is whether I can get it back to the KSC successfully. But we are going to do some orbital science this time. Okay, so this will be OV2. And let's go. Oh wait, I see a problem. Notice the electric charge depleting. Alright, back to the VAB. Ah, you'd think I'd remember batteries by now, but no. Right, now we're looking good. We'll still be depleting power, but I think we'll have enough to complete an orbit. Alright, uh, everything is A-OK. -okay. Let's go. Now, of course, we could do goo right here, but uh, we might as well save it for orbit. Fulfill the contract as well. I wonder... Unfortunately, they don't show you how much you get from these contracts. 
There's no way to right click to find that information out once you're in here. We've got uh, quite a high reputation. I wonder what happens when you hit these little blue stripes here. Okay, I'm gonna start giving it a little bit of a lean in. Okay, inboard engine cut out. I think we can do a high atmosphere goo here. Yeah, let's just keep that. And now I need to make sure I don't overshoot anything. So, gotta go to here. Hopefully we can uh, keep it a little bit more constrained this time, instead of having the apoapsis be a little bit high. Okay, let's get to space. Of course, technically we didn't need to get into orbit to do these experiments and and fulfill the contract, but it's uh, helpful if we want to bring it back to the KSC if we do. Microgravity has greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around the bay in a very messy but fascinating way. Okay, I hope that doesn't contribute to space junk if some of them get out of the bay, but we will trust that everything is under control. Okay, I think we'll need at least some time to complete this burn. Okay, much better. 75 by 70. Definitely in orbit. Not really a requirement for this, but again, just trying to get back home. We'll have to go all the way around, and then... Wow. I guess we'll uh, actually add a maneuver to get this all settled up. Now we're going to actually be hitting the atmosphere pretty immediately. Let's say something like that. And then we can burn a little bit more on the way down if we need to slow down. Probably... Let's go there. Okay. I think we can do a little bit of retro burn here. Let me just shut down the center engine so it doesn't make that sound. Uh, the planet's rotated a bit. I have uh, don't think I've done this right. I should remember not to make the maneuver node like that ever again. Okay. So noted. Let's see how good or bad this works. This is the atmosphere starting.
Okay, it looks like we will reach our home continent without any problems. I think we need to retroburn a little bit more, actually. But last time we un uh, we undershot, so maybe I should be a little bit more cautious about my estimates. Eek. The closer we get to the surface, the easier it is to retro burn, and harder it is to burn forward. Yeah, let's let's wait until we. No kerbals are on board. This is an ideal time to test what the optimal will be. Yeah, we, we're gonna overshoot. Let's do a little bit of correction on that. Not much fuel left. Let's just use it up now. Okay, that's the end of our fuel. We're gonna overshoot. Haven't considered what happens when we splash down with this. I don't know if it'll remain intact actually. This is obviously with the landing legs and all meant to touch down on the ground, not on the water. Okay, well now we're definitely okay for parachutes. Pretty far away from the KSC unfortunately. I don't know if there's any point uh, putting the landing legs out to absorb some of the impact. This vehicle actually probably costs different from what it used to, considering... Oh, well, we got momentarily freeze there. Uh, they changed the price of some things like the nose cones, which is good, because those are really expensive nose cones. Okay, parachutes deployed. Velocity of 6.2 meters per second is reasonably safe, I think. I hope. Let's find out. Okay. All right. Uh, 40. Let's call it 45 science. To study to go experiments and return of the vehicle from orbit. Uh, 95.7% of our total value. And I, obviously everything but the fuel we got back. No crew. Okay. So uh, doing pretty good. I think we gained about 30,000 credits or curbs or whatever. Nothing new here. Explore the moon. What does that require? Achieve orbit around the moon. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Now, we could try and uh, create a totally a new vehicle, but let's let's say all we're doing is. I mean, we're just achieving orbit around the moon, right? That's that's all it says. Achieve orbit around the moon. Transmit, recover, science. Transmit. Okay, so we could transmit data. Yeah, okay. So let's try and do that. So we're not going to make this a reusable vehicle. So no parachutes necessary. 
We probably need a little bit more battery power, though. Probably actually a lot more, but uh, we need a commutatron. And perhaps a little bit more fuel. Oh, wrong ones. So, how about we just go to six of these? Right? Probably wondered why I didn't go to six in the first place. Now, is this going to be enough? I don't actually know. Uh, I haven't actually done the calculation for this yet. We're going to have goo. We don't have any more science that we can do. This is it. Maybe we should uh, check the VAB to see if... Uh, not the VAB, the research lab to see if we've got... Oh, this is a little bit off-center. Let's just focus on trying to find more science here. Now, unfortunately, these are all 90 science, so... Can't unlock thermometers or solar panels. Would have been useful. Oh well, so no go there. We better get some more science from this mission so that we can do more things. Looking at this, I think I can add more fuel. I think I can add another tank to the top of these and get away with it. Oh, well, not if it doesn't like be attaching them. Okay. Let's see if that works. Right, so... Oh, this is on the wrong side. I guess there was some symmetry going on. No, we just need one. Lots could go wrong with this. I might not have enough battery power. might not have enough juice in general. But... Why, do, why does it keep wanting me to do symmetry on that? Okay, let me just... Right? Okay. Orbital Vehicle 3, except for this time uh, we are going to put it in orbit around the moon, or try to. Alright, let's go. Okay, feels so strange trying to do a moon mission in in stock KSP again after just doing quite a, quite a different sort of moon mission in, in Realism Overhaul with all the mods and all, but let's hope I've got this right. Okay, we better uh, go before our electric charge runs out. Uh, a bit slower than I thought it would be. That extra fuel is a little bit uh, too burdensome. Yeah, shouldn't have added that extra fuel. There's no particular reason why I should do this in one stage. Obviously, it would probably be cheaper to have gotten to the moon on uh, multiple stages. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Oh well, I was just going with the flow of things. It will be interesting to note if this can get to the moon though. If we can get this to the moon, that means that really uh, we could just slap a tiny bit more fuel on it and put lander legs on and bring it back kind of thing or have a moon refueling depot of some kind and uh, from over there it can yeah it, it can uh, refuel and return so yeah just uh, testing out that theory Right now, it doesn't look like that theory is going to work out very well for me, because we're barely going to make orbit. Where is the moon? Yeah, not in a good place for a direct transfer. I 
at the very minimum what we're going to do is we're going to get high in space over Kerbin and transmit data from there. If we can get to the moon, that's, uh, that's good. Next time I'm going to try the minimal requirement rocket instead of trying to modify this one to see what it can do. Now don't worry, uh, this might not be a reusable vehicle, but uh, we, we have possibilities in terms of retrieving this and bringing it back for value. We, all we really need is the claw. And so we can uh, use the claw to attach parachutes to this and perhaps uh, refuel it a little bit maybe. And, and we'll be all set. check what our situation is uh, a little bit more so it's not so bad off that we can't uh, do some some basic remedies out of it that'll be fine let's see if we can do that burn or if we're just gonna have to sell for high over Kerbin I don't know if we'll be able to get into orbit around the moon but we can do science around the moon. I think that was one of the possibilities. All it says is transmit or recover scientific data from space around the moon. It doesn't matter if we get into orbit around it or not to fulfill that part of the contract. Looks like a close call. Should we just sell for this sort of thing? I don't think we have enough juice to get into orbit. I guess we can try. Let's keep it loose and then try for orbit. Let's take SAS off so that we don't drain electric charge with it. Something else is draining electric charge, probably the probe core. Let's get high over Kerbin, do one go experiment. Forget where high over Kerbin starts. Yeah, here we go. And we'll transmit this, only 30%. Oh, transmitting takes a lot of electric charge. Keep that data, we'll uh, transmit it after we transmit the lunar, moonar data. Okay, so we are in space over the moon, high in space over the moon. Let's observe the materials bay. Okay. And I suppose we should transmit that. Yeah. Uh, that's a fair chunk of electric charge. I don't know if we can transmit the goo the experiment data. Let's see. Only nine points, but, uh, well, let's see. Okay, so what can we do here? I don't think we have enough fuel for that, but it's tough to say when you've got such a light craft. What's our... Okay, we're going to be in orbit around Kerbin after this, so potentially retrievable. Yeah, let's just keep it like this. No point uh, messing around with it right now. We'll keep it in orbit around Kerbin. Hopefully it won't get kicked out on a future intercept with the moon. We'll see.
what I want to do is uh, send the the other GUI experiment information. Let's try to transmit this. Uh, we didn't get quite as much as we wanted. 1.8 only, and we ran out of electric charge. We transmitted and recovered, or recovered, we transmitted the scientific data from around the moon. So that's successful. Otherwise, this craft is dead in space until we send something to pull it back in. Okay, well, uh, let's, let's look into uh, another moon mission that will bring us closer to the moon. Uh, uh, achieve orbit around the moon with the least resources possible. Let's, let's check uh, the VAB and see what we can do about that. We'll go with the same top here and just junk the rest. We need more batteries. Oh, we can get a thermometer. So we'll bring that along. We'll bring a few thermometers along. Right, so we don't have that much by way of choice of engines. So we might as well load up for the that liquid fuel engine. You know what? I think I want to focus on reusability now. I let's let's wait until we can do a reusable moon mission. If we want to get into orbit around the moon, I want it I want to be able to bring it back safely. And be able to reuse it. That seems a little bit ambitious, but I've done this sort of thing before, and I, I don't want to do it again. Let's let's focus on doing some uh, landings on uh, on Kerbin itself and getting some some of these experiments done. Okay, so let me load up the OV2 again. For your information, I just uh, unlocked the thermometer as well, so we're gonna snap some of those on. Let's just have two. Now we're not gonna have a contract for this, but that should be all right because I'm not uh, I'm not intending to lose much money on this venture. This is a completely reusable thing. So yeah, let's do some science. You know, it just occurred to me that maybe we should do this with a Kerbal, but let's let's just test this out first. What I'm going to do is I'm not gonna I'm probably not even gonna use the parachutes. Uh, let let's just I want to hop over to the grasslands. Well, actually, let's hop over to this desert area here. I'm gonna aim for this here. And so we're gonna be short of orbit, and but we're going to be trying to retrieve the entire vehicle. So here you go. We're going to be using more fuel than we should, and maybe I should make a smaller vehicle for these sorts of missions. So yeah, I think reusability, stick closer to it, might be better. That's, that'll be the plan. But in order to do a reusable moon mission, we're going to have to unlock more parts, and that means doing a lot more science locally. Okay, inboard engine cut out. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's orient retrograde. Wonder if we can make a power descent without parachutes. Let's see. Should be able to extend landing gear. We're not going to be going through any flames, I don't think. Maybe, maybe not. But, of course, uh, we don't have any aerodynamic failures, so don't need to worry too much about it. Just 
wondering exactly where the drag will hit. Probably not in time, so I'm probably going to have to burn to slow down a bit. Ooh. This could be a very bad idea. I'm trying to do a pow powered landing here, but uh, always dodgy. For me, because I'm always such a cautious person on these landings. There's no real benefit to not using the parachutes, is there? I mean, we basically get the full value back. Oh, I hate when it's all smoky. Oh, darn bounce. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Sort of steady there. Okay. I'll take it. Material study from Kerbin's deserts. Yes, good. Keep that data. The desert dust appears to have contaminated all the samples. We did learn that deserts aren't a good place to bring expensive scientific science equipment, though. Uh, well, that'll make uh, discovering stuff on Duna a little bit hard. But anyway, uh, the goose seems to hate it here. Keep that data. Should have done more thermometer readings uh, on the way up, but uh, large plumes of heat are rising from the surface of the desert. I don't remember seeing that one before. Okay, so we've done those. Let's uh, let, yeah, let's recover the vessel. It's just not good enough doing science like this. I think. I mean, only 13 science here. At least it didn't cost us very much. 91% uh, of total value because we landed so far away from the KSC. Most of it was returned to us. What's the total price of this thing? Let me just check in the VAB quickly. Yeah, so we basically lost about 5,000 on fuel. It's not bad, but maybe we can do better. So I'm going to look into designing something a little bit more efficient and maybe something that can get us more... Well, you know what? We need to land curb Kerbals around around Kerbin itself. This is sort of going a little bit slower than uh, usual. Obviously, would want to get to the moon, but and obviously I can with the parts available. But I want to be able to bring it all back. So, so I'm gonna look into that. What we could do is we could have a stage that brings us to orbit. Leave that in orbit to be retrieved later. And uh, so we wouldn't, uh, well, or it could try and deorbit itself. Anyway, I'll think about it. So I'm not satisfied with uh, trying to get to the moon with something where we dump 90% of the of the entire vehicle and fail to retrieve it. So I'm going to try and uh, think up uh, a vehicle that we can use and retrieve most of it. Even if we have to use the claw to retrieve it later, at least uh, it shouldn't fall fall back to uh, Kerbin without uh, giving us the opportunity to, re to retrieve it.
so I'll, I'll work within those parameters and see what I can cook up. I feel like I really need to focus on propulsion and fuel tanks here. Th these aren't exactly the fuel tanks I'm looking for. Certainly not. These haven't changed at all. But at least this will give us a uh, future in stuff over here. I don't think there's any any parts of interest uh, that I can unlock anyway. So yeah, let's let's research this, and that'll give us the opportunity to unlock larger parts, which will make uh, building a reusable moon vehicle more viable with the skipper the poodle and all these definitely need to aim to unlock these once I've gotten these I'm pretty certain I can make the vehicle I'm looking for alright so uh, thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time